so today the guys come along and just cover the hole up for the water pipe because we managed to fill this thing in with stones next is going to be <laughs> next is going to be tiny little bits of gravel and then we're going to cover the top over with something a bit harder starting to fill up more faster assuming that's because of the pressure and the water had to escape a load of toads rescue i mean um and yeah so it's been a while um i've done one of these so more medicine starting to go yellow autumn classic colors rowan is really taking off this thing is beautiful Oh, this new growth here still going. Uh, Ras has just bought a load of maples, so these are Acer rubrum, red maples. We've had to put these um, cages around because apparently deer love maple. Um, so I need to put some around there. As you can see, we have a bit of a wet problem, so. Our first priority after water is lay a crap load of wood chips to try and fix this problem. Because otherwise no one's going to be able to get in or out. Um, it's the beginning of my fence. Starting to mulch this over so then I can wood chip over the top and this whole area here will be wood chipped. So that it's easy to maintain. And as we build these beds out, we'll be able to um, easily like expand out. So I have to cut them, mow the lawn all the time. We're improving the soil as well. Some calendula is uh, going for it, and some echinacea, both going for gold. They're looking pretty, pretty, pretty. Um, Rasa strawberries. Weirdly, it's now autumn. Check this out. Dirty mother truckers. They're starting to grow strawberries. Weird. This is going to be my raised tree bed nursery. So that's why I've got the wood on top. Once I've actually mulched this down, this isn't all of it. We've got a load over the other side as well. Once we've mulched all this down, all this area is going to be chipped. This tree is surprisingly still alive. Um, We'll see whether it's still alive in New Year. Yeah, we've got um, berries on the juniper. Check these little buggers out. Some little juniper berries. We've got these blue flowers that just keep coming. They, I mean, this is the third time maybe they've bloomed and they're still going. Look at that. Dirt bags. Both of them. So it's coming on, slowly but surely. The house is getting there. We've got, this is Aura Taurus air to air heat pump, which keeps the house lovely and warm. Um, we've got camera just for security. We now have somewhere to eat, a carpet. The sofa's done. Um, yeah, once we've got water, this, this thing's completely functional. Um, and we can move in, which is really exciting. Uh, we're going to need lights, so we're probably going to get some solar lights to just dot around. Because uh, it is pitch black at night. <coughs> what else have we got today? Uh, wood pile, no. We need uh, some water barrels to catch the rainwater from the gutter in, so we can use that. Here's some more cardboard for use out there. Um, and a load of off-cut wood. Um, we need to put some heat tape around our 
our pumps and stuff in the back here so they don't freeze because that's going to be not fun. Um, going to pipe the wastewater through here and it's going to come out the ground slightly higher than the top here and uh, yeah I'm going to have to put once we've got the pipes in we won't get this erosion um, need to remove a lot of crap but this is all going to be full of basically wood like that um, and we should be in a pretty good place in terms of sorting the water, wastewater out. Obviously no, we don't have sewerage, so it's going to be all bio, um, fully biological, all natural products that go into the, into the ground. So no issues there. We also, oh yeah, I don't know if I showed this. We've uh, done a bit of piouting or cutting. Got some steps I've made. Which are quite nice. See all the maple leaves. So many maples. So this is, I've cut that for coppice. So hopefully that'll come back nicely. There's some over there. This needs to come down as well. So coppice this beast. That's going to be really useful. Coppice that. So any of the hazel you can see is going to get coppiced. Um, because they're grown, there's, there's so much of it there. Um, this little beast here, put that down, already going, getting busters. This is where the foxes live. Um, so yeah, more hazel, more hazel. So these are coming, they're going to get mulched up, more hazel. Jeez, there's so much hazel. And this is where I'm going to start doing steps down there towards the lake. Slowly but surely, catchy monkey. Apologies. One day I'm going to see one of these foxes. It'll probably scare the shit out of me as well. Um, we've seen a wolf. Oh, well, yeah, we saw a wolf already. Oh, hello. We've seen a wolf. Um, on one of the fields, not so far away from here, so as we're driving here, big beast. Um, that loped off pretty quick when it was always coming. So yeah, really, really, really getting there. We've got electricity, just need to get that water. And we're 90% sorted. Very happy, especially when the weather's like this. And this is just a small bit, Christ. It's been a lot of work. Has Rasta's mum come to help us? I better help Rasta do the uh, rest of these maples, or she'll shout at me. Ciao for now.